Hi, I'm Jordan from the Ready Set, and you are watching Promo It Up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who or what were your inspirations to start making music? Um, my inspirations were kind of a big, a big mess of everything I've ever heard in my life. I got into music really young, and I've gone through every musical phase possible. Um, Travis knows that. Uh, but yeah, so I think anything I hear in my, my whole head just somehow becomes an influence. Did you take lessons? or? Pretty much. I got home from school. I was like 11. My mom was like, you have drum lessons. I was like, okay, sweet. So I just went and like tried it and picked it up really easily and that just kind of like led to my obsession I guess and uh, just went from there. I started playing in bands when I was like 14, playing drums and stuff and then everything, I don't know. When I was 17 I started doing this so just done a bunch of, bunch of random things. So how do you go about writing songs? Like do they just kind of come to you or do you sit and kind of come up with ideas and go from there or? Um, I sit and just like I'll just mess around with the keyboard. They all start just keyboard and vocals and like I, I'll um, like make the whole song, like all the structure, melody, lyrics and everything and kind of like build it and then um, like make a second version kind of like make the drums and bass and everything in it. But it always starts out with just piano and vocals. So what song means most to you? Um, right now, um, I think the song that means the most to me is the second song of my album it's called um, More Than Alive. It's kind of about everything that the radio set is about, which is like just kind of doing what you want to do and like living your life for yourself and just having a good time. So what's one of the favorite, like your favorite things to write or sing about? like? Breaking up, making up, just mm -hmm. fun stuff. I don't know. A lot of my songs lately have been like story kind of things. Like it, my songs are either it's either like a personal thing or it's like something I see going on with somebody else. I'll kind of like take that and make like a story out of it, and you know, kind of. I don't know. Kind of just whatever comes into my head. So what's it like getting to be part of Shop Toy Your Rock? It's awesome. I'm excited about it. I've never done anything like this before. We've uh, we've, we've played a mall and stuff before, but this definitely seems like it'll be the, the coolest thing we've done yet. So since you're at a mall, where are some places that you like to shop? Places I like to shop. I like to shop at Urban Outfitters, which you know. I like um, I like Zoomies for their shoe selection and. Uh, Occasionally, I will I will pop in a packs on to uh, to make my purchase some slacks. I need to purchase some slacks. So go there. Okay, so what are some of your favorite styles? Uh, like music or clothes. 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 Yeah. Hmm. I am a fan of uh, myself. I'm a big fan of flannel work these days. I like pants that are really tight and. Uh, and uh, pretty much anything that this gentleman here to our, our right is wearing, Travis, he plays, he plays drums with me. I take a look at him, that handsome fellow. <laughs> pretty much anything he's got on. <coughs> what about some of the worst style things that you've seen? The worst style things? I'm not a fan of anything leopard print, really. I'm not a fan of, uh, I'm not a fan of zebra stripes, per se. <laughs> I'm not, let's see, what else? The other thing is, I don't like tutus. I see, I see girls wearing tutus sometimes at shows and it freaks me out. <laughs> I, can't, I just don't know what to do about that. But yeah. um, so, if you could trade bodies with any other musician, dead or alive, for a day, who would it be and why? Um, you guys are trying to feed me answers here, <laughs> but I just, I just can't. This has, to, this has to come from my heart. <sighs> Man. One musician that I want. What are you saying? What is what, what is vicious? Please be professional and do the interview. I'm trying to be professional. If I could train train um bodies with one musician, I think it'd be uh, yeah. <laughs> be either Gigi Allen, Sue Vicious, um Jello Biafra, um you know, anybody, anybody who's, uh, anyone in anti flash No, I don't know, honestly, though, honestly, I think if I was a trade buyer, just anybody, musician-wise, it would have to, it'd probably have to be a Beatle. It would just have to be, I think that, that's, 
you, you can roll your eyes all you want. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, I think that's the go to. So, what can we look forward to seeing from you in the future? You look forward to seeing me touring a lot in the future. Um, hopefully, putting out new music soon, even though I just put out an album like a month and a half ago. But definitely a lot more music, tours, shows, just everything. So, what have been some of your most memorable, like, concert or fan experiences? Um, I think one of the most memorable experiences was probably I playing at Bamboozle in New Jersey this year. That was one of the coolest shows I've played, I think. It was, it was one of the biggest times I've played too, too. So, okay. it's one of those festivals I always really wanted to play when I started doing this and uh, finally getting to was awesome. Music? Music. Orange. Dallas. Dollar. Shopping. Poodle. Summer. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> and shop till you rock. Black. <laughs> <laughs>